Welcome back! This is the start of recording session two. Um, I hope you enjoyed the first trilogy, looking back at them. Uh, they read pretty well like a trilogy for me. Um, that was a pretty nice intro. There was a dungeon, and there was world. And now I think I've changed the background. I haven't done it yet, but I am preparing to make the background of this video more pine trees and less bright green leaves by going Minish Woods over Minish Town. Um, I hope it looks good. <laughs> I haven't seen it yet. Um, yeah, we got a jar, which is good for jars, because <laughs> it's the jar game is what became really obvious while rewatching. Welcome back, Yuki. My, but you're looking so much stronger. If you get tired, just go ahead and take a nap upstairs in your room. I'm busy making swords for the guards to keep the monsters away. I wish I could do more, but for now, we need you to save Princess Zelda. <laughs> it's a pretty big job. Um, I am significantly stronger than last time. In the time since I recorded this last, I played all of The Legend of Zelda A Link Between Worlds, besides the actual final dungeon. Um, knock on wood, knock on wood, I've had such good momentum that that has given me just momentum for games in general. Like, I've been thinking a lot- oh, what did I just murder? Hopefully nothing friendly. Um, yeah, it was so nice. I picked it up at the start of May just to celebrate being out of classes. Little did I know it was out of the frying pan and into the fire with summer classes. <laughs> I didn't realize my summer classes would be so stressful, but um, I've begun that. The summer is beginning in a lot of ways, actually. And um, yeah, I've now played <laughs> an alarming amount of Zelda games as we approach the one year anniversary. I think 11? I think this is number 10, I guess, technically, and then Link Between Worlds was 11. Uh, ooh. One kind of well, I guess that glow makes me think of shrinking. Oh, I have an idea. Yeah, I don't know, that seems a little too good to be true. <laughs> Maybe I can knock these off with Pegasus boots later. Um, which I have not gotten in A Link Between Worlds yet. <laughs> I have finally gotten hints as to where to get the Pegasus boots. They're kind of off the beaten path um, and not essential for progressing, but definitely essential for collecting shells, which is... What are you? A fundamental liberty of Zelda is collecting shells in 2D. <laughs> um, those shells are the best because they're actually alive. Those my Mai are so cute. <laughs> um, I really like that game. I hope I don't make fun of it too much while playing this game, because it's really easy for me to go on a tangent about that game. <laughs> I, I really like it, and I really just see painfully how much better I could have been so much easily, so that's kind of where I am. This is kind of like the burr in Wind Waker. There's like those um, creatures in like the forest levels that drop burrs that you can get to climb on you, usually in like big clumps, and they don't hurt you, but they slow you down. I'm kind of enjoying just playing with this friend and it's AI. <laughs> I can't hug you right now. I have to do things. <laughs> oh, stay out of here. I need to slash the cross. You're kind of charming. This is not what I expected to do first thing when I picked this up. But um, yeah, it seems like there's some pretty tough puzzles in the final dungeon of Link, Linky Worlds, so I'm not gonna rush it. I really was going so quickly through that game. I don't usually have that kind of momentum in a video game, but now that momentum can get transferred here. Oh, although admittedly, I don't know what we're doing. <laughs> I think technically these earth elements are like our first collector items, like even though there seems to be a lot of them, but regardless, we have one, so just three more now. Um, yeah, watching the replay, I don't know what these do yet. They mentioned the power of air, um, so maybe in a roundabout way we should go get the air element, but I don't think those elements are gonna give us anything gameplay-wise. This is interesting. There's a lot of holes around here, and I get the sense that somehow we'll be able to get momentum out of them and, like, jump up, but I just can't picture what kind of object would do that kind of thing. <laughs> Um, we still can't slash at the thorn, but that will be exciting when we can. Again, I don't know what would do that. <laughs> um, like a sword upgrade or something. I thought fire, um, and we're yet to get anything that can create fire. <laughs> look at you. Um, let's take a look at the map. 
it's not a very big map. I mentally have it bookmarked that with bombs now, we have bombs. Um, I think we can break over to here in this maybe the mountains? I think it's fire maybe? It's a little hard to read these guys. Um, a few Minish talked about the mountains, but I realized I don't remember any really specific directions on where to go next. <laughs> This is our first time back in town, and there's a cat, and it's them. Come on, come all. See how many kinstone pieces you- oh, here we go. Here comes the collector item. You never know what fusing kinstones will do, but it's sure to be good. Come on up and get your free kinstone bag for holding kinstone pieces. Finally! <laughs> Don't miss out on this incredible once-in-a-lifetime opportunity. Yes, yes, you're here for your free kinstone bag. Are they old for this? I'm like definitely at least 11. <laughs> oh, that little sprite of the girl with like the the yellow hair, the little pink lines, cute, the cute little kid sprite. Um, yeah, okay, we're still young enough to get kinstones, <laughs> which is good. Getting two kidstone pieces together is called kidstone fusion. If you get two pieces together perfectly, great happiness will come your way. I'll put a kidstone piece in your kidstone bag so you can give it a try. To fuse kidstones will look like I do right now. Oh! Oh! I, I'm now remembering things I've heard about this. This is like a, um... This is a person-oriented thing, which is extremely appealing. When you see that look in their eyes, that's when you press L. <laughs> I don't quite understand, like, what this is, um, yeah. I don't get, like, I don't have anything to compare this to, actually. <laughs> is it like a, like a relationship building thing? <laughs> the kinstone screen. Yep. Match. Blue clover. Circle. Maybe. Maybe something good will happen. Oh my god! Oh! <gasps> oh my god! It affects the map! It affects those vines that we were just talking about. Oh look, it's like a zoomed in version of the salt field map. That's really nice. I wonder if I can access that normally. I would like to see those maps zoomed in a little bit. We're both due for a little happiness. Yay! Wow! I was wondering if that would just be like... <laughs> A weird like payout of like magic con shells that still don't do anything for me. Um, holy heck! Um, I don't know how many kinstones there are gonna be, uh, but if they affect the map, then that's kind of big. I don't know what I make of that yet because it's less things for items to do to the map. Um, goodness gracious! Um, there were definitely Minish friends who like were talking about kinstone pieces. But I don't think that they would give me one as much as be looking to receive one or, you know, finish one with me. That is such a weird mechanic and I, I, I don't know what I make of it, but I'm in awe of it. Town is quiet enough across the roots. There are monsters everywhere. You should visit Stuckwell Shop and get outfitted before you go out there. I would like that. I need to expand my wallet, um, which means that I need to spend money and not have too much money anymore. <laughs> And that was a real centennial celebration. Yeah, Zelda's gone. <laughs> the festival is not the- I guess maybe it happened in private? Maybe the townsfolk only know about the monster issue and not the Zelda issue? Oh, why is there a child door? Who are you? You're you. You hear all sorts of interesting gossip in here. Stop by from time to time. That's cool. Oh, it's you. Why do you hang out at the bar? <laughs> you associate with children. <laughs> There are a lot of people out there looking for someone to fuse with. That's true, that's just like real life. <laughs> Is that a question? Looks like- Hey, you don't have any kinstone pieces! How can you fuse kinstones if you don't have any kinstone pieces? <laughs> this moose is definitely yelling at me. Um... Interesting. So he's got a pop-up, maybe for another thing? I'm assuming these pop ups are gonna be an indicator. That's really cool. Anything to make you interact more with NPCs is really interesting and possibly like make more dialogue. 
Can you see Mocha Bird Toast? Okay, so, um, I wasn't listening to her. This little mouse door, which is cute, I think, um... Okay, many thoughts. <laughs> I think that that mouse entrance is for this mouse door. Oh, and there's something up there. So maybe we can get in there and crawl around and come out up there. In fact, I think I've seen something similar in like a trailer or something. Um, slightly funny, I couldn't use this door if I was mini. So I think any building that needs like a mini puzzle is gonna have to have like a child door over here. <laughs> Just like this. Oh, I didn't want to. I am a laid-back, easygoing kind of guy. Not a care in the world. And that's just the way I like it. That's great. Um, big jar over here. Let me tell you something that might come in handy someday. You can move bookcases and stuff. Try to push and pull different things. After all, you're young. You should be trying all kinds of new things. Huh. <laughs> yes. Oh! I'm in a jar. <laughs> Um, hold up, what kind of vocations can I push? <laughs> I'm gonna need the- Ooh. Ooh. Okay. Wow. I'm suddenly team push <laughs> after all this, these, this, these times. Can I push tables? <laughs> um, so I got into like push mode, right? I'm also push mode here. I can't grab it. Um, can't push a table. I guess we can just lean at things and- judge our push ability. Why can I get in the jar? What is up with jars in this game? <laughs> um, wow, I am thoroughly at risk of spending all my time here. What is this? <laughs> oh, it's it's Legolas or Legolas's dad. I am Swiftblade, finest swordsman in all of Hyrule. You train with me, I guarantee that you will increase your skill dramatically. So, would you like to train here? Please. You're a Tolkien elf man. We shall start with the most basic of all techniques. I shall teach you the spin attack. First, press and hold your sword button. Second, build up enough power. Third, release your destructive might. That's all, young swordsman. I do understand. With no visuals. <laughs> you are a quick student. But one must feel the technique, not just hear about it. Oh! That's not what I expected! <laughs> I call this the Swift Blade Possession Technique of Training. Watch this. Err, Possession. I thought we were gonna fight. Oh, no. That's boring. Um, fighting Old Man Orca in Wind Waker was one of my favorite things when I look back. It was so hard. You really had to figure out the timing for these attacks in order to finish like his mini game fight things. I would have been super game for that. Not that I can totally picture how they would ramp the difficulty of a sword fight up that much in 2D Zelda, cause there's not as much timing stuff. Mm -hmm. That's all there is to it. Didn't I already know this? I guess I've never done that, probably. I don't use the spin move that much. <laughs> I find it hard to use because a lot of fighting is just like close combat. And like you're too close to charge a move. The tiger scroll. Is that... Oh. Cool. <laughs> okay. Cool, we're back to scrolls. It's just like Squeak Squad. This is the first sword technique you've learned from Master Swiftblade, and not the last, apparently. I don't know what else he can teach me. <laughs> I'm not used to too much complexity with my sword and 2D Zelda. Um, I assume they're all gonna be called Tiger Scrolls? Uh, can stun back. I guess we're pretty equipped now. I'm assuming we're gonna figure out what to do with our shells soon, which is sick. Um, that's a key item. I don't know, I'm gonna be like a Triforce piece down here. Oh, look at this! Look at, look at this. Um, I assume these are going to correlate to dungeons. Uh, it looks like you might have to do the earth elements and then three dungeons is how I read this. I've trained in reading Zelda. <laughs> it's been a long year. Um, so, can I actually read that? Yeah, ooh, this is cool. 
This is like a whole interface. Why are there like seven sword techniques? That's like, pretty impressive. Oh, it's a kanji down there. Or, you know, at least a Chinese character. Press and hold your sword button, charge and release. What else are you gonna teach me? I mean, uh, well, save. <laughs> um, I don't know. I assume we're not gonna get the Master Sword. I don't know if we're gonna get to use the Picori Blade. That might give us sword beams, or maybe sword beams are taught and not inherited. <laughs> With your current sword, a new sword. Oh. Well, um, one cool thing about these four elements is that we are getting them to fix the Picori Blade, so. It usually, when I look back a lot of times, this first set of missions is for your master sword, so we may be doing four for the Picori blade, which is a long time to go without talking to old man Swift blade. But look at our cat front. How are you? Speak. Okay, I did. <laughs> you could have just not let me in. You could. Not. I don't know about these helpers. <laughs> oh, woof. Sad. Hey, what do you want? My sister's not here. She's at school. Who's your sister? Oh. Can I- Ooh, I'm gonna get small and play with the dog. I'm gonna meet your sister and play with your dog. <laughs> Lots of jars in which to position myself then. Ooh. Why would there be two ch I mean, I guess I can't really question there being two chimneys, but that chimney doesn't have fire in it, so maybe I can put myself in it. Oh my god, the obviousness! <laughs> um, I can't quite read what to do with these chimneys, but I know I want to be small and get in them. And who are you? Who, who are you? <laughs> oh no, this is horrible. My cuckoo's so hot now. Can you- who are you? Can you catch them for me? I'll help. <laughs> Try to catch two of them within 25 seconds, please. This sounds hard. You can't go into buildings or leave town. Can I go in the- Oh! I don't know where these are. Okay. Oh! No, 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 no. Uh, I haven't been keeping track of this. Bird, 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 bird! Golden bird, hey. <laughs> what? Bastard. I am intrigued by your golden bird. Oh. You're so pretty. I like her hair a lot. <laughs> She's also kind of tall. That's kind of like my shape. <laughs> oh yeah, mysterious shells. <laughs> These better have like a great like um like shop or something where I can spend them in bulk, because I do not like getting them in bulk. You got 20 rupees. What? Oh well they're not going to my wallet because my wallet's full. And I need somebody to help me and empty my wallet. <laughs> Hi. Oh. Oh, it's a shop. Who are you? Ah, yes, yes. Welcome, welcome. Please feel free to browse. Hmm, what's this? I don't know what that is. I... You might be able to tell me. Speak. Oh! Awesome! Yep, that's, that's how I'm spending my money. <laughs> Absolutely, thank you. You got a big wallet. I wonder how much. King's Ransom is pretty impressive. Yeah, I, <laughs> I, I... Maybe there's a wallet expansion in Link to the Past? I know I have to expand my bomb inventory. Um, I'm usually not the best at wallet expansion. I've enjoyed many games where I don't have to do that, actually. <laughs> it is a bit exciting to get that upgrade, though. Uh, is this stuff though? This is quite the town. Is that carved out of wood? Why would you carve a, a cup out of wood? I don't know. Oh, I wish I was smaller. Uh, uh oh, I need a drink. What is this all about? Oh my god, how many different stores are here? <laughs> Hey, you want to know what I heard? I heard that only kids can see the bickery. 
Hey, I want to see the bakery too. Can I? Can I? Huh? Can I? <laughs> Probably. Milkmaid. I just love shopping. Oh, and I mustn't forget to ask him that surprise filled bread from Pita. What? <laughs> Here's Pita. Ooh. I want surprise bread. Sniff, sniff, sniff. Mmm, doesn't that smell spectacular? <laughs> Perhaps they give out free samples. I say, would you ask for me? <laughs> Welcome. Please bring whatever you'd like to buy up the register. <gasps> Yoroshiku. Mmm, <laughs> must make deliciousness. Um, uh, is this surprise filled bread? I don't have that much money anymore. Wheat and then pita. Oh! <laughs> This tasty, this tasty slice of cake, which I may or may not have special something inside. Wait. I can't finish. I can't, I can't afford that. So we have surprise. Oh, Josh Um, I don't. Uh, does this have a surprise in it? Um, I don't know about surprise cake. Unless the cake has bread, which I don't want to think about. Uh huh. A fantastic fruit pie, which may or may not have something inside. What is up with this? I need to find bread. I'm assuming this middle one's a croissant. You know, <laughs> Um. Brioche. Okay, sorry for assuming it was bread. <laughs> Can't even afford the middle thing, probably. I just want to make sure it's surprise bread. Oh. Um, welcome. Yeah. You didn't give me that the first time. I'm not seeing a surprise in any of the more bready options. Who did I even talk to? Oh, you! Huh, well, maybe you, Maybe it's not a quest. I thought it might have been a quest to give her food. She might have just been giving lip service. I hope that's what that means. Hey, hey, your fresh fruit. Get your fresh fruit here. I absolutely can't buy your fruit. <laughs> This stall is kind of dirty. I guess that guy won't be setting up here today. Oh, I can clean that. Damn it! <laughs> Damn it, Capcom! <laughs> Let my intuitions be proper. <gasps> oh, there we go. <laughs> uh, oh, this is where we got our shield, eh? Where's my shield? I guess it needs to be half to a button. So I won't take it out. Oh, I have heart pieces! I noticed Link Between Worlds did not have that many heart pieces to get, which is super frustrating. Like, that was a huge world exploring incentive in Link's Awakening. That would have been super dope in so many different places in that game. I think the mayor is doing a fine job, no matter what people say. That's interesting. Who are you? That most I sure guy strikes me as somewhat unreliable. <laughs> There's something fishy about this room, too. I'll absorb all of it. <laughs> oh, we got masks. I haven't played Majora's Mask, but I know that that's dangerous business. I can't. I am Hagen, mayor of this fair town. Mayor is usually very important to busy folk, I'll have you know. But I still have a hobby, of course. I collect unusual masks. I just love them. They're beautiful. Simply magnificent, I tell you. That is exactly how a mayor speaks. <laughs> and you've got a hole with a ladder. <laughs> oh, you've got a dungeon in your yard. This is a... change. <laughs> oh, dope. Yeah, I'm actually kind of hyped about getting those. Um, maybe this is like a strength bracelet pushing thing. Practically, I think that I might actually get four link potential in this game because of the nature of the four sword and um then i bet i could push this actually that oh my god this room revealed to me that we are probably gonna be able to make four links which is a great thing <laughs> for the moment let's see what this kinstone piece does because yeah collectibles that give you progress like what's that <laughs> you want a few skin stones oh please please yes you had this kinstone in your cellar, you idiot. The two kinstone pieces fit perfectly. Maybe something good will happen. Maybe you'll be a better mayor. What on earth? Where are we? Like, the barn? Oh, it's gonna show us, isn't it? Oh my god! Well, I missed the water. But this is like hidden cave stuff. Long Run Ranch in the HD map version. 
Oh, that's so pretty. Perfect fit. Now, now I know we'll get lucky. <laughs> This, this whole episode is just me trying to figure out like what goes into making a funny voice so I can expand my voice repertoire largely and immediately. <laughs> um, oh my god, I have just been goofing off this entire episode. <laughs> um, map? Yes! Oh my god, I'm so glad we can zoom in on this map. There's so many buildings. Is that a dungeon on the right? There's a lot going on here. Um, Longland Ranch, can I get at where we made the dungeon? Not unless I can find a way to shrink myself. Why is this world so interesting? Um, South Hyrule Field is where I live. Uh, I think, I, th I think I can find a way to be small. And that's what I need to get into Longland Ranch. Um. I just, I don't really want to backtrack for it right now. I think I might just like go on a tear and go into all these little hidden places later. For now, I do want to get out of town. I'll leave some meat on the bones for next time. Um, this, oh my god, what is this? Like a museum? Tell me about it. Okay, I don't trust you. Terribly. Uh, log bench. Very interesting golden chest. Um, yo, this, these interest me. These vines look like they want to be climbed, if I'm being honest. Um, I I'm going to get distracted. <laughs> this is the best Tyrol town I've ever seen, at least on first notice. What is this poison thing? You're, you're constructing. Okay. Um, well, I suppose I can treat myself to some surprise bread and then go make some money and come back to town. Why do you introduce yourself now every single time? You should have just done it once the first time, not omitted it the first time. I also see a bunch of places to climb around if I was tiny, so... I will definitely come back to town when I can come to town tiny. Oh, this is surprise bread. Okay. You bought a brioche. It looks so crusty and delicious. There was a kid. Oh my god! <laughs> um, I see a... I see, um, a triangle? A red triangle? The last two are clovers. I guess I can't see my completed ones. But then why is there a preset number? This is... Well, maybe I see a triangle. Maybe I don't. It might just be a clover. Oh, out of one. Okay, okay. Um, That's interesting. So they're not unique. Um, They're a certain type that everybody needs. I'm just gonna put some goodwill and trust in the kinstone pieces and hope that... um, Hope that we only get one of each. Or we, we get enough for everybody and I don't have to worry about like how I distribute my kinstone pieces because I cannot fathom a way to strategize that. Um, I, I, I do kind of want to find a seashell place while I'm here, but I don't think I'm gonna have a seashell wallet and I don't really see it. So I will continue to not care about these collectibles <laughs> and just collect them and be disappointed when I get them as a reward for a puzzle. God, this place is so complicated. <laughs> I've seen at least five of those blue jars that I can hop in. This looks like the Wind Waker mail place. Looks like the Wind Waker mailbox. Mm, how do I get out of town? not bursting with options. Let's try Northfield. That's really where I think I have to go. Oh, well, who, what are you all about? Uh-huh. Okay, have fun. <laughs> Please let me. Bye. Please. Oh. oh the song's going. I didn't even notice it. Oh my god, this is really going. <laughs> You literally only need that instrument, which I think is a pan flute. It might not be. It might be a kind of synth. You are Bayonetta. <laughs> the sexiest librarian in the city. I might not have that many options. Um, which is a shame, because at the moment my brain is like, this Hyrule is so lush and full of possibility, and then it's not. <laughs> Roof cuckoo. If I got up there and I was small, 
Could I help you? I don't know. I didn't even talk to the ghost. Boogity boogity boo. Did I scare ya? What? Kids are just natural scary ghosts, you know what I mean? Boogity boogity boo. <laughs> That's awesome. That's great. You're like a shitty version of Wisp. <laughs> Um, a thought <laughs> is going bright. Little guy. There's like the one cute enemy. The, the one cute enemies. <laughs> that, that, that is- oh, bombs. Sick. Um, a sentence was just grammatically doomed. <laughs> Expert difficulty. Here's my mystery grotto, actually. <gasps> Hell yeah! That's neat. Um, yeah. Well, is it? Because <laughs> you could have given me the heart piece as a reward for the kinstones. So you didn't have to turn a cool overworld grotto into just a heart container. And what's the puzzle? A kinstone piece. <laughs> I don't actually know. I feel like I just lost the puzzle is what it is. Oh my god, you're bigger than before. <laughs> wow. Dragon Crest Rocket Slime, like a lot of things breaking at once. <laughs> okay, um, at least he cracked. Well, maybe it was me who took the detour. Quite a rich detour, because it gave me the possibility of going to all of Hyrule Castle Town. What are you guys doing? Come on. Come on. You're barely blocking these. <laughs> What the f <laughs> I don't Why is I I quite often Zelda um does much better than something like Pokemon at um oh here we maybe go. I'm just gonna go back to the woods where things made sense. Um quite often it's easy to congratulate Zelda on having like believable things from stopping you from moving forward, but construction? Like Construction specifically just sucks. Like this just feels like hey, this just feels like life or something mundane. Oh, a happy place. Um, how specifically did I want to get through here? What exactly was I seeing? Because I can't think of how my jar or my bombs. What an interesting thing. I can't think of how my jar or my bombs are gonna get me through right now. Water. I think we actually get to that pink house from the north. Or, you know, Zora Flippers or whatever that heart container needed. Um, I don't really know how to get forward. <laughs> I'm, I mean, I'm glad I can zoom in on these maps now, though. Um, okay, my last idea is... My last idea is top left of South Hyrule Field. Well, yeah, okay, so there's a lot of those vine things, like, right there. Um, part of me is like, I wish it was an item that did that, but that would mean that- I mean, there's so many of them. That would mean that once I got this, like, lamp or whatever, I would just get all of them at once, which is wicked overwhelming. But, um, Getting them unlocked one by one sounds more rewarding in one way, but also it takes away a lot of the mystery of the overworld because I'm just like, when can I cross this? When I get the right kinstone piece. <laughs> and then if I get a kinstone piece, I'm not as much thinking like, oh my god, what am I gonna unlock? Like, I basically know it's just gonna be... Look, I'll, I think this peaked when I saw the map change and I was like, oh my god, is that a way forward or something? Not that I love that idea. Come on! Wait, can I let my intuitions be right, Capcom? Please. <laughs> so I can probably only cross this from the other side. I don't know how to move forward. <laughs> this is the worst place to get stumped. The only time I ever got stumped in Link's Awakening was because they had stairs to move forward under pieces of grass. That's not only stupid, but like the only stupid thing. <laughs> I never got stumped otherwise. Anyhow, um, that was a weird episode and kind of the best episode at the same time. So uh, I'm gonna cut you off and see you next time. We're gonna find a way forward, I, I promise. <laughs> Peace. <laughs>